I married my wife in 1970. Um, we purchased a farm in 1970. Um, we raised all calves from local farmers to start. Um, they eventually became cows, and we started milking. We milked one cow at a time as the calves freshened. Andy and Joan Meyer are working hand in hand with the second and third generations at Genlar Holsteins and Brown Swiss near Chilton. I'm still raising the calves, and I still come out here to make sure the robots are running smoothly. I'm, I keep a good eye on things. I don't know if they know, but I'm keeping a good eye on things, right? For many years, the farm was home to 60 cows. I'd uh, milk cows twice a day and had all these little kids that ran around the barn, and, and it all worked out. I don't think I would ever want to do that again. When you're young, you can do anything. One of their sons, Larry, and his wife, Jennifer, saw their family's future at the farm as well. Um, farming was a great place to grow up, um, learned um, work ethic and uh, teamwork, and just the farm community is a really nice community to be a part of. I think really good salt-of-the-earth people, so um, that really drew me back, and um, my wife and I are very passionate about cows. A decision to add robotic milking two years ago also meant increasing the herd to around 120. The cows milk themselves an average of three times a day using the robots. Um, we did see um, somewhat of an increase in production. Um, we've been as high as 104 pounds per cow with our, with our Holsteins. And the cows uh, really like visiting the robot and really like um, the flexibility that it provides for them. I haven't missed I'd get up at 5 before 5 in the morning and, uh, and make sure everything was running smoothly. Um, now it's... We have a lot more time to go to the kids' sporting events. Uh, to uh, do first, I felt guilty at 4:30, driving out of the yard to go to the store. That that's over with. But it's the robots have made life better for all of us. Although they have a bit more free time, the family still gravitates back to the barn. Well, Jennifer and I have three children: a uh, 14-year-old daughter. Brianna, 12-year-old son Austin, and a 9-year-old daughter Abby, and they are all very uh, passionate about agriculture as well. They, their highlight of the year is showing down at the World Dairy Expo and the camaraderie and the people that they get to, to see every year down there and the competition of showing the cattle. Jennifer also grew up on a farm and is passionate about sharing the story of agriculture. She was the 51st Alice in Dairyland, so she worked very closely with um, the industry and in promoting Wisconsin agriculture the year that she was traveling for that. Though the operations are different than they were in 1970, the Meyer family maintains their pride. People will say, oh, you got such a nice looking farm, and I take a lot of pride in that. Um, I spend most of the summer cutting lawn. <laughs> it's important as a farmer to show that we do a good job all the way around. Um, that we take so much pride in what we do and everything should look ne nice and it's it's a lot of extra work but I think it's well worth it. It was all hard work so you kind of uh, are proud of the things, your accomplishments as the years progress and uh, people say um, when they drive by what a nice farm we have so, so we're proud. It's a beautiful farm, and you will have several opportunities to tour Genlar Holsteins and Brown Swiss for yourself. That's because they are a tour stop for the National Holstein Convention in June, and they're also hosting Calumet County's Breakfast on the Farm.